The battle to defeat terrifying tropical diseases which threaten a billion people worldwide is relentless. In 2012, at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, senior scientist Mark Taylor was researching the disfiguring condition lymphatic filariasis. David Lalu went to meet Mark Taylor for a briefing. Hi, David. Mark Taylor's team is harvesting parasitic worms in order to test the effects of different drugs. So here we've got the team uh, dissecting the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes get crushed by okay. the infective larvae and come through a mesh, and then what we're doing here is picking them out, and they're hoping to collect about 3,000 a day. The larvae are cultured into adult worms. So we're a uh, worm production factory at the moment. Absolutely. We, uh, we generate 6,000 worms a fortnight. Wow, is that right? Yeah. Back in 1999, Mark Taylor made a key Obviously discovery. We were interested in why this worm causes such severe disease. It, it, it has a big inflammatory uh, reaction. Um, and so we were looking what, what was the cause of this inflammation, and we actually found it was this bacteria which was driving a lot of the inflammatory disease. Mark and his team had discovered a bacterium called Wolbachia that lives inside the worm. He realized that the worm was dependent on the bacterium. It was a eureka moment. Once we found that and that the bacteria was essential uh, for the worm to survive, um, then it was obvious that we should start using antibiotics to try and eliminate the bacteria. And when we did this, it showed that the worm couldn't survive without the bacteria and died. Since this extraordinary breakthrough, the antibiotic doxycycline has not only been curing those with mild symptoms, it's also been helping those with severe LF. It's only around 10% of the population that will show the uh, lymphedema and elephantiasis development. The good news is that doxycycline can also benefit these individuals. I think that's one of the most exciting breakthroughs that we've found. Despite its success, the drug has problems. It takes four to six weeks to work. Everybody knows how difficult it is to complete a course of antibiotics uh, of, of such a length. So what we really needed to do was try and shorten the period of treatment and also find drugs that we could treat children and uh, pregnant women with as well. The challenge was to find drugs that worked within a week or less. With the then Chancellor George Osborne, Bill Gates visited the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine and through his foundation, gave the funding to achieve this goal. We now have screened more than two million compounds, and out of that we have 20,000 drug-like compounds which we know are active against Wolbachia. So these are essentially new types of antibiotic that we can exploit and improve further using uh, medicinal chemistry. Two of them are already registered drugs, so we can use those today. Um, we need to give them in a slightly higher dose to achieve the seven-day course of treatment. This research might in future not only cure diseases like LF, but protect us from every killer bacterial infection. One of the additional benefits of, of coming up with 20,000 new antibiotic uh, structures, which we know are active against this bacteria, is they may be active against other bacteria. And we all know that developing new antibiotics is going to be very important.